Let's do this. Really witty. We are back for a TikTok episode. Allie, how are we feeling tonight? We're feeling good. We're feeling heated. If you're like me, we've all been keeping up with this drama all day. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to get into it. Honestly, there's so many thoughts. <laughs> yeah. So like she said, a lot of drama. Um, we are only doing a short episode. All we're going to hit is the Josh, Nessa, and Jaden Hostler drama. They're all TikTokers. Um, Josh and Nessa dated for a while. Uh, she cheated on him with Lil Huddy, and then they got back together. And then Jaden, what Nessa and Mads were like good friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think they used to be roommates. Yeah, so Nessa was dating Josh then, obviously. Jaden and Josh are friends. Jaden was dating this chick named Mads. All TikTokers. Mads and Nessa were friends. Josh and uh, Jaden were friends, mm -hmm. who also lived together at one point. Mm -hmm. um, Mads and Jaden break up. And Mads, like, a few weeks ago, kind of threw all this stuff out. Like, yeah, they like each other. Yeah, this stuff has been going on. Yeah, I saw texts. And then yeah. Jaden and Nessa kind of were like, no, that's bullshit. And Josh was like, oh, okay, believed him. And then it was weird because in BFFs, he was like, yeah, but me and Nessa haven't been together for the past two weeks. So it's like, oh, okay. Like literally ever since their song came out. Yeah. So Nessa and Jaden are both artists and they made a song together. And um, now it came out that they are basically officially dating, like, I mean, I yeah. would say they are. So, uh, yeah, it was it was crazy because because Mads like she so she posted all this stuff on social media like about Jaden and uh, Nessa and Josh like obviously was probably thrown off by it and um, they basically yeah he just, just had no idea yeah and then like, they he trusts his friend he trusts his girl and that's what so he he's said like, he why would like, I believe this. Like, he said that too. He was like, Jay, I talked to Jade and I trust him. He told me nothing was going on. Mads is just being crazy. And, you know, so Father Cooper, Alex Cooper interviews Mads on Call Her Daddy. And that's how like kind of stuff like came to, you know, a float. And she's like, yeah, this morning, like I basically had it confirmed in text message this time. So no one can tell me I'm lying that Jaden likes Nessa vice versa and uh I love the TikTok you sent me was like Alex Cooper being like when guys call chicks crazy it's not what did she do it's and I responded to you I was like yeah like that's very truthful because when I cheated on my girlfriend I called her crazy and everyone's like well you're the dumb one not her so like <laughs> I get that um that yeah. raw honest male perspective we love it <laughs> <laughs> oh so, yeah like when I watched it I was like yeah that's probably true 95 percent of the time yeah um, so that's kind of just like the lowdown uh where, where where are you at I mean so I remember the whole reason I even knew who Nessa was was because last summer or something I'm on Twitter or TikTok mm -hmm. or something I just started getting onto it and I'm like watching my cat videos and in between there's all this shit that's like Nessa and Chase they're together and Chase is now spilling all this tea. And I'm like, who is this Nessa girl? I look her up. She's cute. She's got like a little face, whatever. But now she's like a rapper and she's always like this. Like, yeah. I don't, why no. does she need to flick off everybody so much? Like, I don't know. But I've never really liked her since then. And so when this came out, I was keeping up with BFFs, BFFs and like, you know, Josh, he's always talking about it. Dave was kind of like, so you and Nessa, you and Nessa, like, everybody's kind of been like oh they're dating we're like following this relationship just because we listen to bffs right and now we find out like the bitch was just using him like i don't like her i don't like her yeah i'm with you completely on that um she like i remember when they had her on they were talking about her music and she was kind of like you know like yeah you know, everyone's trying to do it but like I'm not really auto-tuned it's like yeah you are so yeah you're kind of like everyone else she yeah she gives off that like I don't know like a weird Billie Eilish but Billie Eilish is like actually talented yes but like that kind of weird vibe yes but Billie Eilish is also very open about who she is and how she is yes Nessa tries to act like she's this innocent little perfect girl and like this that and that and yeah. it's like, I sent you today. I was like, no, in reality, you know, that ludicrous song, Use a Ho, comes on. And that's what Nessa fucking is. Yes. And she has a type, like that black hair dyed 
type of angsty dude. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of these fucking musicians with their fingernails <laughs> painted, their fucking floppy hair, and they just think they can go around and fuck whoever they fucking want. We got to put it to it. We got to put with it the one cross earring. Yes. That kills me. And Tattoos everywhere, floppy hair everywhere, nails painted fucking black. They're going to fucking play the drums a little bit and they're going to fucking go pick up someone who Harry Styles, Olivia Wilde, MGK, <laughs> Megan Fox, Jaden Hostler, Nessa. This is bullshit. Travis Barker, Courtney Travis. Kardashian. Exactly. I mean, like, I have to say, though, everyone besides Jaden, they do have a BDE element about them. Like, they have good music. like Jaden's it, like, who are you? And they have good music. The other, the three that we, I said, yes, but they also have yeah. good music. But yeah, Jaden is like, who are you? And he, yeah. went, he went on Instagram live. I don't know if you saw that. And he was like, I'm trying to hit up Josh. He won't respond to me. I'm, he blocked me on everything. And first off, people like were like, he didn't block you on Instagram. You guys are still following each other. Secondly, like he deserves every right to block you if he wants to. Yeah. Like, they were best friends. He literally was like, that's my best friend. We talk every day. Mm-hmm. Like, the poor guy. He must be, like, such an idiot. See, Josh, like like you said before we got on, they're so young. Like, Josh is yeah. so young. When they were talking the first time about it, when, like, everything came out, and Josh was like, no, I believe everyone and all this and that. Like, you could see Dave's. Dave didn't want to be the one, but, like, his face was kind of like, Josh. Like, yeah. They're not. My God. Yeah, and and Josh was just like the innocent nineteen year old that we've all been there before, and was just like, no, nah, they told me no, I believe them, I trust them. Why would I not trust them? And then it's like, uh, that's why. Yeah, this is why and he I- said that this whole thing. Was- go on, no, no, go no. on, go on. You can go. Well, he was like, this whole thing's gonna turn me into a savage, and I'm like, that's what happens in high school. Like, that's how the fuck boys become fuck boys. <laughs> yes, they they might for a little bit have like a serious relationship, and then something happens, and then they turn into a fuck boy. But what I was right. gonna say was, this is why if I was ever in a serious relationship, I would never want my my lady to be a musician and make like a love song or be an actress and have a very like set on romance movie because like they basically fall in love with the person they're with yeah it's the movie it's the song like yes i was thinking that too i'm like who knows if Jaden and nessa even really like each other or it's just the music like yeah that's the only thing they have in common and their black hair exactly yeah their black hair and their fingernails are both probably their black nails like yeah exactly so this is just wild i mean nessa i'm it's just so fucking annoying she has one of the biggest stands on the internet though like her group of army on the internet is wild but like she is nothing what she appears you comment on a tiktok and they're coming for your life i know like 12 year olds i'm like what I literally just said Mads and Josh deserve better. And all of a sudden I've got all these people like, who are you? Who are you? And I looked at their bio, 12, 12 yeah. years old. <laughs> TikTok is Cheaper. a wild place. Yes, TikTok is a wild place. And uh, you sent me the TikTok where uh, that chick was filling in her brother. He knows who none of these people are. She just filled him in. And I agree with him that like Mads is probably pretty crazy. But like one yeah. thing that, she was right on is she was spot on on all of this yeah she was so like that's wild and you know what she does deserve better her best friend goes behind her back and cheats on her boyfriend with him and yeah josh josh is innocent josh deserves so much better he does and he's like i mean he's pretty good looking he's so thin i mean i don't know i see him and i'm like geez but he definitely has a following of women well girls too yeah he's he's probably got a (laughs) big following of 12 year olds that's for sure and now he's got like the bar school people on his no i i i uh michael gruen is like probably like foaming at the mouth knowing that josh is just gonna cash in it doing what josh is gonna be he's such a celebrity now and it's weird to say because it's like tiktokers but legit these people are fucking big ass celebrities i mean josh is in business with like mark Wahlberg, all these fucking just huge people Josh yeah. is going to fucking slay, do whatever the fuck he wants. And he's 19 years old. So right. head up, buddy. You got a right. lot going for you. Right. Like the future is right. <laughs> yeah. Nessa performing on fucking Jimmy and Nessa's Kimmel. Like... I was going to say Nessa performing yeah. on Jimmy Kimmel 
Josh, in three years, you will be on Jimmy Kimmel as the main fucking person. So don't even trip about that. Literally. I know, like, their five minutes of fame is just, it's going to be over before it starts. Like, people are going to forget about this in, like, a couple weeks. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's the thing is, like, and like, is, is Nessa and them, like, it seems like they're just trying music. And, like, their music is going to be good as long as they're a little famous on TikTok. And that's not going to last forever. Right. I mean, like, Addison Rae just made a song, and that's probably going to last. It's not even that good of a song, no offense. But her song is going to be more popular than theirs in a couple weeks because, like, she's just more relevant, more cool. And now mm-hmm. nobody really likes them. They're kind of like, oh, you guys, like, are home wreckers. Yep. And that's scared the th- people. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is, like, I, I mean, everyone is kind of on Josh and Mad's side. Yeah. So like they're fucking themselves. Like the only thing that they should do is is I tweeted this today though. Josh needs to release like the driver's license edition of for a male. And yes. and Mads and Jaden, if they were smart, even if they didn't feel up to it, would release what's the response song to it? Oh, the Joshua Bassett song and then like Sabrina? Yeah. Yeah, so like they would need to release like a song back because that will be their biggest song ever, and they need to hop on this now because their music, quite frankly, isn't that good. There's a hundred fucking different no. bands that are just like them. Like I would rather listen to MGK and all them rather over them. But Josh should release a song and just go full blown like Jesse McCartney type and just make bank. He would because everyone's like, "Who is this Josh Richards guy? Who is this?" Like even people who don't even go to on tiktok they're seeing this on barstool and they're like who is this guy that dave portnoy is now doing emergency episodes for? yep in miami at fucking swan with who's dave portnoy with it's fucking josh richards like right <laughs> yeah hey buddy capitalize on this like you can too you know who people should start talking to though is travis barkley because he has been with them the whole time so he would know like kind of the ins and outs of nessa and Jaden. Yeah, isn't he, he was the drummer for them, right? Yeah, so he's kind of that fly on the wall. <laughs> I feel like Travis Barker would just be like, fuck off, I don't care. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, he's like, the extent of me being in the fame is me going on a date with Kourtney Kardashian. Other than that, right. stay the fuck out of my life. But right. <laughs> if he would sit down for an interview or just to talk like yeah he's probably the perfect person because yeah like you said every time they film like did he walk in on them fucking making out before a little film session like right he would know exactly he would know yeah so yeah this is this is some wild stuff and and the what's funny is is like last night like what are the odds matt they alex cooper is a genius she dropped it last night knowing that like her podcast doesn't come out for two days but she drops it the night she drops it Jaden and Nessa are caught holding hands and they're like we're just friends yeah okay okay right in the car like coming out of a restaurant yeah Mm -hmm. and you know what to Nessa and Jaden fuck you for not having the balls to actually tell Josh everything that happened because Josh is a good fucking kid and you guys are pieces of shit fuck Nessa like Matt aside you know, she probably has her crazy moments. I mean, not crazy. We don't want to call women that, but like, she probably did her fair share of toxic stuff too. But like, Josh did nothing yes. except try to support them and defend them on actual the internet. So like, honestly, they suck. They're the worst kind of people for screwing that guy over. He defended them with Dave Portnoy, king of drama, king of putting stuff out, king of going at people, kept trying to bait him to be like, Josh, like talk a little shit. And Josh kept being like, no, like I like both these people. Like I love them. And this is how you guys treat this fucking dude. That's just a disgrace. So to Nessa stands, fuck off. Nessa's in the wrong and just admit it. Literally. I mean, they're, they deserve everything that's coming. I agree. (laughs) I agree. And you know what? And I hope in two weeks, everyone fucking forgets about Nessa and Jaden and Josh is just like out here and he's fucking starring in a movie now. Right. Literally. And like, I hope their song, like people need to forget it. It's not good. I don't even know what's called. Lottie da, Lottie D. I don't know. Something like that. Something it, bad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not good. So yeah. Everyone um, gives it a thumbs down, but yeah. <laughs> you got anything else? 
I mean, no, that's about it. Everybody should just tune in tonight. It's the BFFs pod, the emergency pod, and then Alex Cooper's releasing her episode. I mean, we got yeah. some tea. It'll be interesting to listen to those because like we have like a lot of information going into it, but I feel like like the actual conversations are gonna be like where you kind of find everything else. Like the little I don't know, fill in words, I guess I should say, to the whole puzzle will like kind of bring everything together and will be interesting to see. Right. I'm excited. Me I'm too. ready for the ride. <laughs> Hopefully more TikTok drama pops off so we can hop on next week then. Yeah, give our two cents. Yeah, exactly. But short episode, we just want to hop on, talk about this stuff. We'll see everyone. Who knows? Bachelor in Paradise is, is supposed to be coming on in a few months. So Probably yeah, we'll, we'll be back. Later. Don't worry. Our tea talk is not over. <laughs> <laughs>